Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Welcome to another vlog. Um, it's been a while. It's 5.50, so 10 minutes before 6. Um, the sun is just about to come out. Uh, I'm still kind of sleepy and um, trying to figure out what I'm gonna say. <clears throat> but as you can see uh, from the title, uh, I bought a new car. And today it's gonna be the first video uh, about the new car. Uh, I'll tell you about some of the features. I'll tell you some about something about the spec of the car that I bought, and I'll tell you something um, about the future. What I'm planning to do with this car, because I'm not just planning to, you know, stick with it and drive it as it is. Uh, I'm gonna try to find some nice and quiet place where it's not windy so that we can take a walk, uh, walk around the car we can take uh, some nice uh, you know videos about the interior and uh, we can do a little bit of a drive here around the desert where i live uh, but i mean i don't know if you could see <clears throat> but the sunrise it's so beautiful i mean dubai is flexing on the world at the moment so Without any further ado, let me go and try to find that uh, perfect location where I can record the car and I'll be with you shortly. Alright guys, so we found a nice spot, um, actually one of the familiar spots where I recorded the uh, uh, Mustang here. It's quiet, uh, there's quite a little bit of wind only, but it's pretty calm morning so uh, apart from the noise of the certain SUVs you can hear in the background who are probably uh, dashing and bashing those dunes uh, it's 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 nice location to record right and as you could probably tell by the intro of this video um, some of you might even know the whole model and everything else um, I bought an Audi I bought an Audi A5 uh, and here it is It's a 2013 model. <clears throat> I got it from the uh, first owner. Uh, and as some of you might know, I had an accident in my previous car, uh, Nissan, right? I posted on my Instagram stories and that led me to buy uh, this car, basically. It just came to me out of the blue, out of nowhere. And um, I'm, I'm pretty happy on how it looks like and I'm pretty happy with my purchase at the moment so to guide you a, bit, a little bit about the uh, spec it's a 2 liter uh, turbo engine uh, 4 cylinder uh, S-line outside S-line inside uh, sport suspension uh, and it's a 4 wheel drive so it's a Quattro as you could see so it's a restyling model 2013 as I said it has a seven speed automatic gearbox with a uh, floppy pedals um, rotor wheels that they do need some work I will show you later on as well um, it has a sunroof there we go and then as I said like it's a it's a full S line which you can see by the uh, side skirts here there are some badges around the front grille is a bit different as well so it's a bit kind of a more open and everything and then inside you will see later on it has a couple of badges it has a s-line steering wheel uh, in terms of the engine, <clears throat> uh, it's a 2 liter, as I said, turbo, um, 165 kilowatts, 211 horsepower uh, at 4,500 RPM. Uh, you get the power at around 1,500 RPM, so it's not that bad. Uh, it's a pretty uh, agile, it's a pretty good car. It's something like if you drove the Golf GTI, <clears throat> something similar, but a bit bigger to satisfy my 
needs for the four seats and the four doors as well. I could have gone for the for the two door, uh, but then that wouldn't make sense because I have two kids, right? So let me try to take you inside so you can see the interior as well. There we go. The other side, by the way, the sunrise is amazing. I don't know if you can see the desert and everything. As I said, UA is flexing on the world with this one. I really like these uh, <clears throat> frameless doors, as you can see from here. It's kind of a grand coupe uh, style. So once it's down, there is no frame around. Uh, I was very particular while I'm looking from the inside of the car. It had to be the uh, either black or the dark brown leather. As, as you can see, uh, it's in a very, very good condition. Uh, the previous owner took really good care of it. Um, hence, another reason why I took this car. So the leather seats are in a very good condition. The whole interior, it's in a very good condition, as you could see. And the car itself, apart from the few scratches and whatnot, right? So, also the uh, leather seat here, uh, pretty decent space, if you ask me, when you sit here in the back. Uh, so, I don't know if you can see, there is one small problem and that's the uh, ceiling here that kind of uh, is falling down. So, I need to sort out that one. That's what the previous owner told me, but apart from that, uh, just enough leg room uh, considering that I'm sitting in front here so I'm sitting pretty far away and yeah there is space to sit here as you could see I mean I, I, I could sit and then drive in the back which is not gonna happen though but yeah um, apart from that if we go the front as I said there is a S-line steering wheel, the round one. It would be even better if it's a bit cut here in the in the in the in the bottom. But hey, no complaints. Uh, the uh, floppy pedals are here. Uh, infotainment uh, system is here, and then we have the uh, Audi Concert, which is the ridiculous thing but hey that's uh, that's an audi right that's one thing that i don't like because you need to connect your usb and whatnot from the glove box and then you need to plug it into the um, uh, lighter whatever it is uh, to put the charger over there in order to get your bluetooth but hey it's somehow sorted out right uh it has these kind of extenders here as well when it comes to the seats, um, <clears throat> seven speed automatic gearbox, as I said, um, with a sport in the manual mode, um, traction control off, parking sensors, um, auto start stop, again, the ridiculous thing that, <laughs> that exists. But then there is like a automatic hold of the of the parking brake, which is a pretty good thing if you're standing in the in the in the traffic. And then the start stop button that you can see comments on the steering wheel, uh, voice control, which I don't know if it, if it works in any car uh, <laughs> decently. Then um, the volume uh, knob here, different modes that you can see from the central uh, board over here. Um, and that's pretty much it. Yes, very important thing for me. It has a cruise control as well. So overall, I mean, a very, very nice place to sit. There are some quattro badges to remind you that it's a four wheel drive. Um, and as I said, overall, pretty decent place to sit. Um, and I've been enjoying it since I, since I bought it like a month ago. I'm really sorry. This is a very late video, um, especially that I had a vacation and uh, I had like a rush at work and whatnot, right? So, uh, apart from that, 
future plans and what we're gonna do with the car so first thing is first we need to sort out the rims as i said um, they have some chips here as you can see from the previous owner that's probably from the curbs when he was parking the car so that's the plan to repair on these ones uh to put most probably the uh ventilated discs uh, at the brakes because the brake uh, maintenance is about to come for me and then as you can see it's 255 35 19 inch rims uh, in the in the front <clears throat> and then from the back here we go again same uh, profile tire 255 35 19 same thing here as you can see like a small scratches and bits and pieces that I need to change um, <clears throat> but uh, that's gonna cost me like around 150 euros which is around 600 dirhams on whatnot a uh, couple of more reminders that this is the S line <clears throat> apart from that uh, we're gonna put the uh, back lip here so that's gonna come in a probably gloss black color a small lip uh, here nothing crazy nothing you know ridiculous but just just a small lip uh, which is gonna be as I said gloss black uh, the plan is to paint the rear diffuser in a gloss black now it's kind of a some grayish or what not color I don't know how much you can see um, it has a two pistons in the back uh, speaking of which removing the <coughs> sorry removing the cats and most probably uh, putting some pops and uh, crackles uh, but again nothing crazy uh, I don't want to make car undrivable or extremely noisy or loud so just a small uh, you know deep roar and a pops and, and, and crackles once you're in a sport more and once you're shifting uh, down so once you're downshifting sorry so cracks from the you know cats from the from the from the um, exhaust system pops and crackles a bit of a roar back lip uh, we need to repair the the 19 inch uh, rims and then the plan in the future is as well to put some aftermarket rims such as the Vossen or something whatever I can find that will uh, look nice on the car uh, apart from that uh, I'm planning to do the uh, I'm planning to do the stage one for the car. I found a company um, and they said that they can bring it up to the 280 horsepower. That means 70 horsepower extra. And it's not much about that power that you get. I mean, it is at the end of the day, but it's not, right? Because yes, I will get 70 horsepower extra for this car, which is gonna be in a kind of uh, league of uh, Golf R, slightly less, but the thing is what they are promising what they're saying is that I will be able to get a better throttle response um, throttle response is very nice um, I'm not complaining but there are sometimes that lag uh, especially with a seven-speed automatic uh, gearbox uh, which is not shifting always the way that you want and the flappy pedals are you know good but not the best ones uh, to be quite honest yeah at the end of the day it's not the rs5 i would love to but it, it, it is not uh so yeah as i said rims lip uh exhaust stage one and the last but not the least it will be the uh, uh wrap at some point so i want to wrap the car so most probably all these chrome details here <clears throat> that you can see they will go black um, these ones as well they will go black out the lines right at the, at the same wheel the mirrors will go gloss black uh, wheels will have to be a gloss black in that case probably as I said some wasn and then the car uh, tough decision uh, I have two colors in my mind but you can let me know what you think and what would you like me to to wrap the car in either the nardo gray or the uh, matte green 
for the car with those kind of uh, gloss black details that I was talking you uh, telling you about sorry um, so yeah I mean a short video introducing you with a new car let's take it for a spin and then we're gonna wrap up the, the video Alright guys, <clears throat> so as I said, let's take it for a little bit of a spin and then we're gonna wrap up the video. In a normal driving mode, the car is just normal, right? So a very comfortable ride. Um, the seats are kind of, um, you know, they're not the bucket seats, but they have these kind of, uh, you know, um, side holders to hold you not to uh, fall off your seat if you're driving a bit more dynamic um, or a little bit uh, faster um, and they have um, the sides as well which are kind of um, hugging you nicely around your uh, back but apart from that as I said very comfortable ride very smooth uh, seven speed uh, DSG gearbox as some of you might know it's just perfect right that uh, DSG uh, automatic gearboxes that they used to put in a, in a Volkswagens as well as in the uh, Audis is just a you know nice and smooth transmission <coughs> through I mean throughout the, the, the ride and um, if you put the car in a sport mode, uh, which you will see right after the, the signal, the ride gets a little bit more stiff uh, and firm, right? Uh, better throttle response, not as good as I would like it, that's why I'm gonna do the stage one, but better throttle response and, um, you know, the gear changes are a bit more sharp, so, there we go, sport mode, you know, let's go into the fast track, and there we go, you know, so, and it holds it in the, in the, in the lower gears, right, so then you can put the gear lever all the way to the right, and then it's in the manual, so you can shift yourself, right, so I'm gonna shift it now to the seventh gear. You can shift it with the floppy pedals, which are on the steering wheel, or you can shift it with a with a gear lever, which is on a you know, which is with a shifter like up and up, up and down basically. So let me move to the right. There we go. The drivetrain is very nice. I mean, it's a quattro. Um, and it has a sport suspension so it's a very stable in the corners fifth fourth third there we go very nice second and this is what i was saying like you know a bit of pops and cracks when when it comes to the uh, uh, exhaust but you know it's gonna it's gonna come uh, speaking of the suspension as and, and, and a drivetrain, as I mentioned, uh, it's 40 to the front wheels and uh, 60 to the back wheels. So you have also that feeling of, let's say, a little bit of a rear wheel drive, which is not. I'm fully aware of that. <clears throat> But at least it's a it's a it's a it's a 40 60 as I as I said like you know, um, so it's not that kind of a typical uh, Audi front wheel drive, you know. Uh, 
so I'm, I'm, I'm very happy about it so four-wheel drive uh, better launch of the grid and uh, 4060 uh, split between the front and the, and the rear uh, okay we have a bus 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 that we have to overtake when it gets possible come on 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 there we go off we go and now you will see in the corner how it behaves so left bend no problem at all it holds the composure and just perfect slow down a little bit here you know all the lines accelerator and off you go uh, it's getting a little bit busy because the people there are about to go to work it's 6 30 so response is very decent you know I was in the drive mode um, automatic nothing crazy nothing special but yeah and one thing I forgot uh, I forgot to tell you is that I'm also planning to put the uh, spacers uh, at least on the back wheels for the moment for the time being I mean uh, maybe I'll put the front spacers as well in the future uh, 15 mm or 20 mm I'll see uh, the front wheels they look pretty decent at the moment to me at least but I will see when I put the back spacers how that is going to um, look like so yeah I mean there we go a big hump or some sort of there we go another one and we're gonna take a U-turn here as soon as this Honda 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 goes <clears throat> so yeah there we go as I said if you want to drive it nicely a perfect perfect daily driver I hope that's gonna stay even if I do the stage one and then uh, if you want to go a little bit more dynamic, uh, you have, you know, you can have fun, you know, so, and that's going to increase most probably <coughs> with a, with a, with a um, 70 horsepower extra and uh, no problem, my friend, we go, the cyclists, so yeah, <coughs> I mean, there we go, another wish, that same hump. Alright, I hope that you enjoyed the video. Um, one second, I'll try to lift this one down. Alright, so, oi, the sun is coming straight into my face. Anyways, I hope that you enjoyed the video, guys. Um, I hope that you like my new car. <clears throat> Um, if you have any suggestions about the color or what should I do with the car apart from the things that I told you uh, please hit me up in the comments um, and I'll definitely consider that one apart from that uh, please don't forget to like share and subscribe to Carfreak458 peace